Sarasota's only live show on politics and local issues. I'm the host, Ron Filipkowski. Visit our website at www.clout941 to check out any of our past shows, past guests, past weasels of the week. And we've got a great show for you tonight. Tonight we have the uh, chairman of the Sarasota Republican Party, the newly elected chairman, Joe Gruters. But before that, our commentary on the Sarasota City Commission race. The, fin the three finalists are in. Suzanne Atwell, Terry Turner, and Paul Caragiulio are the three finalists out of the nine or so candidates. We were two out of three on our picks last week. We were correct about Caragiulio. We were correct about Atwell. We missed on Terry Turner. We had Ken Sheelan there as the third guy, and uh, he came up about 100 votes short. Uh, so it looks like an interesting race. The runoff should be, should be good. And uh, we, we have confirmed that we have Suzanne Atwell on as our guest in three weeks. We have contacted Caragiulio and Turner. We're not sure if they're going to be able to make it or not before the election, which is right around the corner. So now our guest, the new uh, new elected chairman, Joe Gruders. Joe, thanks thanks for coming on. Thank you, Ron. All right, Joe, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background, what you do for do for a living? Well, I'm I'm Burn Buchanan's political director. I recently served as his campaign manager for his reelection uh, uh, race to Congress. And uh, uh, I'm a bo fourth generation born and raised Sarasota. My uh, great uh, grandfather uh, uh, came here over with the circus. He was the ch chief tent maker and he ran the winter quarters when uh, John Reeling was away. And it was a, uh, 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 like I said, I grew up here, went to Cardinal Mooney, went off to school, went to Florida State, go Knowles. I'm hoping for some big things in the the tournament. I hope so. And uh, came back here, started working immediately. It, it ran for office actually at the age of 20 for the state house, and then went back to school. Came back, ran again, uh, unsuccessfully for the second time. Went back to school, uh, 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 finished, and I ended up getting my MBA at University of South Florida. And I worked for uh, 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 Congressman Buchanan then in, in the on the in the corporate sector, uh, in a variety of different positions, uh, moving up the. The corporate ladder, and then uh, ultimately, when he ran for Congress, uh, returning to his staff and uh, being a, a big part of his team. Tell us about your family. Oh, well, I'm, I'm one Tell of six. Us a little bit. Uh, right. I, I'm one of six. One of six kids. Uh, my parents, both, uh, and my father's from Sarasota, and uh, uh, I have a twin sister. And uh, uh, all my brothers and sisters all graduated from Carter Mooney. Uh, we all went to school, and we're scattered around the country. Uh, uh, my twin, uh, I have a twin sister, and uh, uh, and only my younger brother Tim, my middle brother Tim, and myself currently uh, reside here in Sarasota. And you recently got married? Thank goodness, because uh, 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 I'm a lucky guy because Sydney Spence is probably one of the most spectacular people you'll ever meet. She's uh, uh, wonderful in every way, gorgeous, extremely uh, uh, smart. Uh, uh, and I could not have found uh, uh, anybody better than her. Okay, well, you can go home tonight now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did she make you say that? Nope. No, no, it nope. wasn't planned. But it, it, it's, it's deserving, believe me. All right, me. I was going to ask you about your background in politics, but you, I mean, you just told us you were actually ran for office when you were 20 years old. How is it that you were so active in politics? Well, it's kind of funny because it, it, it was my parents are apolitical. My, you know, my mother's Republican who votes usually straight ticket and my father's an independent who may or may not vote in presidential races and so uh, uh, when I went to Cardo Mooney uh, there was a, t a teacher there named uh, coach Mike Dowling who also coached the football co uh, football team and he was coach uh, he was teaching world history and it was back in 1992 while I was a freshman and coach Dowling said uh, for 10 bonus points uh, uh, well, I'll give you 10 bonus points if you go hear Dan Quayle speak. And this was at City Island, uh, not knowing anything about really Dan Quayle or, or politics. I raised my hand for the, for the bonus points. I went down to City Island Park, and, and I knew then when I saw the Vice President Quayle speaking in front of thousands of people uh, that that's probably what I wanted to do. And then I ended up meeting uh, an, an REC, a current REC member named Elizabeth Cuevas Nunder, whose son was also involved with the uh, teenage Republicans and she signed me up and she had me walking door to door when I was 14, 15, 16. It was really a, a, a incredible experience and as I went through high school of course I do student government and then when I was choosing a college I was either going to go to 
Florida State because our state capital or D.C., our, our, our nation's capital. And I chose Florida State and how I got involved with politics. You know, I ended up, once I went to Florida State, I immediately started interning at one of the local offices. And uh, I was, uh, as I was interning, I saw our then representative make some votes and speak. And I said, I could do a better job than her. And so I went down and filed my paperwork at the uh, age of 20, not really knowing what I was doing or getting myself into. And uh, I think we surprised a lot of people in that first race. I think we got over 40 percent of the, we got 40 percent of the vote. That's funny. I went to Florida State for exactly the same reason. Also interned in the legislature, so uh, I was a little before you, though. <laughs> in time, I mean. <laughs> um, okay. Well, how about this? You, you know a lot about politics now. Obviously, more than you did the first time when you were ran when you were 20 years old. If you could go back and give 20-year-old Jill Gruder some advice, what would it be? I would look at Joe in the eye and I'd say, don't alienate your base and do, the, the, do, do a good job. And I think uh, when I ran back in 20 and 22, you know, sometimes you try to, to be, uh, uh, you try to, to make everybody happy. And I think what you have to do is you have to stick with your core convictions and uh, uh, do what you think ultimately is right. And I think with that, I think you'll have more success. In my second race, we missed the runoff by 200 votes. And uh, uh, I get thank, uh, you know, we were walking door to door every day. I had my brother, Tim, out there walking with me. He would drive, I'd jump out of the car. He'd, you know, wait there, I'd jump on the back of the car, and we'd walk door to door over and over. And we had the, uh, uh, my brother was a senior at Cardo Mooney, and I think my cousin was a senior at Sarasota Christians. So we had a lot, a lot of high school involvement of kids walking door to door. And, uh, but that'd be the, the advice I'd give myself and, and try to raise a little bit more money. Uh, <laughs> but if I can go back, I think I can uh, work the system a little bit better and I would have been successful. But you know, in losses, in losses, you end up learning a lot more. And I think with those two losses personally, and then some of the other races that I've run, to, uh, some of the races that I've managed and lost, I think I've learned more from them than the wins that I've had. And it, it's actually made me more successful later on as a, as a campaign manager. Okay, we'll take our first break. When we come back, we'll have more with Sarasota's new Republican Party Chairman, Joe Reuters.